This is Twit. Okay, Leo, get this. Pwn to own adds a Tesla Model 3. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't pwn no. my Tesla. No, that's good news because you want these guys to find and fix the bugs. And in fact, oh, yeah. if they do, $900,000 worth of prizes for the Tesla. Um, so there's money in them, thar hacks. Uh, so this is at the, the, this will be at March's forthcoming. I think it's March 20 to the 22nd, forthcoming uh, the CanSec West in Vancouver, which we t talk about every year because it's so much fun. It will, for the first time, add automobiles to wow. its hacking target. Um, uh, so the biggest prizes will be a quarter million dollars for hacks that execute code on the Tesla Model 3's three primary systems. There's something that's generically known as the gateway. There's the autopilot and the VCSEC. The gateway is the central hub that interconnects, as it sounds like, uh, as, as you would expect, the car's powertrain, the chassis, and other components and processes the data that they are exchanging. Um, the autopilot, of course, is the driver assistance feature that helps control lane changing, parking, and other functions. This VCSEC is the vehicle controller secondary. That's the term used. It's responsible for security functions, and including the car's alarm. Um, so, be these three systems represent the most critical parts of a Tesla, so it's clear why hacks successfully targeting them would be eligible for big payouts. To qualify, the exploits must force the gateway, autopilot, or this VSEC to communicate with a rogue base station or other malicious entity. Um, then down, the stepping down from that, a denial of service attack, which could take out, for example, the car's autopilot will pay $50,000. So they want to know if you can do that, but that's a step down from, you know, forcing one of those three critical systems to, to have a communication with a malicious um, external entity. <clears throat> also, Pwn to Own will pay $100,000 for hacks that attack the Tesla's key fob or phone as key, either by achieving code execution, unlocking the vehicle, or starting the engine without the key. It'll pay a $100,000 add-on prize for winning hacks in another category that attack the car's controller area network. We've talked about this in the past, This the so-called CAN bus, which is the bus that interconnects literally everything you know it's no longer the case that there's a big wiring harness like you and i used to have in the first cars that we owned where you could like you know peel back the the floorboard mat and you'd see this huge bundle of wires going to like the tail lights and the brake lights and the backup lights and the turn signals and everything that's all gone now everything just gets power and a signal uh and where and all of the you know, light on, light off stuff is multiplexed over this CAN bus. Um, um, so targets uh, or hacks targeting the car's infotainment system is also on the menu, uh, which will earn a, a successful exploiter $35,000. Uh, and hacks which escape the security sandbox or escalate privileges to root or access the, the car's OS kernel will fetch $85,000. Uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth hacks get $60,000. And there's a separate add-on payment of 50 grand, which will be paid for winning hacks that achieve persistence, which means, of course, that once they get in, they set up shop in your car uh, and survive a reboot of, of the system. So anyway, at the end of uh, the month, let's see. Um, then the Tuesday following it happens to be my birthday, uh, March 26th. So as I turn 64, we're going to find out about uh, how the Tesla Model 3 oh withstood the uh, the CanSec West pwned own. Um, and of course, there's always as uh, well as always there are the uh, attacks against things without wheels. Um, the uh, 
that there we have a, a quarter million dollars for a success. Boy, this these this <laughs> these, these contests this is are a business. Really you got to get in this business. <laughs> Steve. There's really some money making, in there. They're making some money. A quarter million dollars for a successful Hyper V client to to a client guest to host escalation. Um, and respectively, one hundred fifty thousand, seventy thousand, and thirty-five thousand for hacks of VMware's ESXi, VMware Workstation, and Oracle Virtual Box, respectively. So stepping down, um, the web browser attack category will pay eighty thousand dollars for hacks of Chrome and Microsoft Edge, and in the case of Edge with a Windows Defender application guard specific escape. So you got to get out in order to do something. Uh, and a Firefox exploit will net $40,000. Um, and the, the coverage of this, Trend Micro puts this on. Uh, the server side category is much smaller this year with, with Microsoft Windows remote desktop protocol, the RDP as the only target. Um, uh, oh, and Trend Micro noted that most of their server-side targets had moved to their targeted incentive program, so they're no longer needed to be in pwn to own They've sort of changed where that's being done. Um, but still, a successful exploit of remote desktop protocol will bag its user or its exploiter $150,000. Of course, that's significant because we have been talking about uh, cr you know, cross-internet RDP exploits, which it's surprising to me how many people have remote desktop pro pro protocol exposed, uh, and it's just not secure enough to let people get to it. So at the end of March, uh, we'll have some uh, some news about how all that's going. 